I'm the first to admit that I love shopping for new teacher toys. Whether you're in a classroom or you're teaching from home, it's so much fun to have a new gadget for teaching. I'm Amanda Hasty, mother and teacher, and today I've pulled out seven of my favorite teacher toys, things that I've purchased that I've really loved using for teaching. I've linked them in the description below. So let's get to it. My first teaching toy might seem kind of simple. It's just a whiteboard. I love using a whiteboard when I teach. I had a big whiteboard in my classroom, but now that I'm at home, I just have this small one that I picked up from Costco. I love it because it's magnetic, so I can use it with alphabetical magnetic letters, or I can use it when I'm doing manipulatives with math. Just about anything I can put magnetic tape on the back of and I can use it on my whiteboard. I can also easily display things, charts or timelines right up on the wall with the whiteboard. I also like using smaller whiteboards when I'm teaching for my children or my students to use. This one, as you can see, is well loved. <laughs> I got from the marker board people. And it's just a little whiteboard for them to write on and do diagramming of sentences, or they can use it for doing math work. The uh, marker board people have a lot of really cool ones, uh, like marker boards that already have a graph already on them, or this one that I picked up that is great for learning multiplication tables, or this one, which has place value on it. There's a lot more that they sell with uh, lines for handwriting or even geography ones. I've linked it in the description below if you wanna look them up. But definitely my favorite teaching toy is a whiteboard. So the next teaching toy that I wanna tell you about is my laminator. I love having a laminator at my house. Now this can only laminate nine by 13 or smaller and I buy pouches uh, pretty cheap on Amazon that I can just run through it and laminate anything that's a 9 by 13 or smaller. But it is so nice to have a laminator at my house. I use it to laminate uh, things for learning colors and I put little magnets on the back so I can use them on my whiteboard. Uh, counters that I can use during math class. Uh, these are uh, little toy items uh, that we pretend to buy and sell. Coins. Uh, for working on money. You can also laminate worksheets so that they can be used over and over and over again. This is really nice, like when you're teaching your child how to write their name, you can laminate a sheet and every single morning they can work on writing their name, wipe it off, and do it again tomorrow. This laminator I got on Amazon, but there's lots of different laminators available uh, depending on what size and what you're looking for, but it wasn't a bad deal. I put it in the links in the description below so you can look at the cost on it, but I really love my laminator. The next teaching toy that I really love are readers. I love books. We have so many books in our home, and when I was in the classroom, I had lots of books in my classroom too. But it's really nice to have books that even young and early readers can start reading. I had many different readers in my classroom, but these are the ones that I have in my home. Um, Bob Books, which are fairly popular readers, the um, Reading Rods, as well as a subscription to Reading A to Z. Now this subscription can be rather pricey if you're just using it here and there, but if you rely on it quite a bit, it can be very useful. Reading A to Z allows you to print out books at different levels. They go all the way from pre-K up to fifth grade level and they have fiction and non-fiction books on many different topics. I really liked when I was teaching in a one-room classroom how I could print out books that were on different levels but yet still on the same topic. That way my whole class could be reading about the same thing but on their level. I'm very excited about this teacher toy. I wanted a document camera for the longest time, but I didn't think I could afford one. And then I found this one. This document camera is from IPVO. 
This is an older version from what they have now, but I got it for just $99. I loved using my document camera in the classroom. I was able to read a story and it would project up on the screen. I could also work through math examples or even do a science experiment and everyone had a front row seat. I really like this document camera because the screen can flip. So if I'm working on a paper this way, I can still not have my paper projected upside down. It also takes images of what you're doing or records video that you can use later. I love my document camera. This is a time timer. It's a visual timer so that children can see how much time they have left. I used it a lot in my classroom and I still use it here at my house. When you want to set the timer, you just move it to the amount of time that you want to give and the time visually slowly gets smaller. So children can see the red going away and the white coming and they can easily see how much time they have left even if they're not old enough to know what the numbers mean. I used this in the classroom to show the students how much time they had left for silent reading or how much time they had to work on a project. I use it at home to show my daughter how much time we have before we have to go on to do something else or how much time we have to clean up the kitchen. I've actually also used it at the lunch table when we were taking a long time to eat and told her when the red is done, we're done with lunch. When the time is up, as it's moving over, it gives a little sound to alert that the time is all done. I've used this timer quite a bit. I have had a couple other visual timers, but this one has been my favorite. This is an iClops. I don't even think they make these anymore, but they do make things very similar to them. It's a microscope and it connects to the television. I've also had ones that connect to your computer and you can project those up or just look on the computer. I love having a microscope that projects on something larger. It's great for students who have a hard time peeking into the little hole and seeing. I've used the iClops for insects. These are some butterfly wings that we like to look at with the iClops. You can also have children look at their own skin. Once we found a flea on one of our pets and we looked at it with the iClops. There's so many things that you can look at with a microscope. What I've really liked about the iClops is how hardy it is. It is great for children to be able to actually use it. I'm not scared of this breaking. It's quite a tough little thing. But a microscope that projects is definitely one of my favorite teacher toys. This is a big teacher toy. This is my pocket chart calendar. I used it in the classroom when I taught K through two. I use it here at home with my daughter and I use it on YouTube every Monday and Wednesday. You're welcome to join us for calendar time. This pocket chart calendar is great for learning months of the year, days of the week. You can change out the seasons. You can find the weather for the day and it also has holidays. All of the cards also are in Spanish on the back, so you can choose to use them in English or in Spanish. I really like my pocket chart calendar, and this is something that we use every single day. Do you have any teaching toys that you love? If you do, please link them in the comments below. I might just go out and buy one of them. And don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps me a lot.